Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to determine the sum of arithmetic series using graphical method. Let's take this example right here. Find the sum of the series 2 plus 6 plus 10 plus 14 plus 18 plus 22 using graphical method. There are steps that we need to follow in order that we can determine the sum of this given series that we have right here using graphical method. The first step is to sketch the graph. So I already have set up the graph here. So what are we going to do is that we will sketch this numbers that we have here, the 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, 22 on this um, graph right here. So this this will represent the first term, which is, um, it's going to be on two, and then that represents the first term right there. So we can have this as our, um, this represents the first term right there, two. And then the second term would be six. So I can go ahead and draw another uh, rectangle right here. So this represents the six. And then the 10, so we go all the way to 10, and then that's on the third um number that we have here on the x-axis, and I will do the same thing for 14, 18, and 22. Now we're ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to stack up the rectangles and sketch the graph. So this is how we stack up the rectangles. The first box, or the first rectangle, and the uh, last rectangle will be stacked up on top of each other. And then the second and second to the last will be stacked up on top of each other. And then this two will also get stacked up on top of each other. So that we can go ahead and say that this last rectangle right here is going to get stacked up on the first rectangle. This will be stacked up on the second and this will be stacked up on the third. So pretty much this one's will be the last half here will be stacked up on top of the first half. Okay, so let's sketch the graph where in this last half right here will be on top of each other. So I have here this um, exactly the same graph as this, but this time around I will pull this out and put it on top of the first. I will pull this out and put it on top of the second. So this is how the graph is gonna look like. Okay, so as you can see here, I actually have stacked up the last one. I put it on top of the first, this second to the last, I put it on top of the second, and this one right here, I put it on top of the third uh, box right here. So this is how the graph is gonna look like after we stacked up the rectangles. Now we're ready to move on to the third step. The third step is to determine the length and the width of the rectangle in step two and solve for the area. Please remember that the area is the sum of the given series. So we're gonna be using this graph right here. So the ones that we stacked up. And so we are going to determine the length and the um, width of this uh, rectangle that is formed here. So please notice that our length actually here is half of six, which is actually three. So I can label this as three right here. And then notice that our width is 24. Now others are gonna say like, how did we get 24 from here? Please remember that originally th this was actually two right there. And then we stacked up the one that is 22. So two and 22 stacked up together, that's how we got 24. So the width of this is 24. So that we're now ready to determine the area of this rectangle. So the formula for area is Okay, so looking at this graph that we have here from the second step, our length is three. So I can go ahead and plug the values in. Three times the width is 24. So three times 24, our area is 
uh, 72. So that is 72 right there. Now we remember that this area is actually the sum of the series. So we can change this as sum, which is equal to 72. So this is the sum of this um, given series that we have up there. We can actually check if it's really 72 by using a calculator. And so we can go ahead and add them all up. So that would be two um, plus six plus 10 plus 14 plus 18 plus 22. The answer is 72. So this is the graphical method of determining the sum of a given arithmetic series. Now let's take this second example right here. So in this problem right here, we're supposed to calculate the sum of the arithmetic series represented by this um, graph right here. So um, the difference between the first example and the second example is that in this example right here, we are given the graph already. So the graph is already set up for us. We just have to determine the sum of the series that represents the graph. So the first step is to sketch the graph. Since the graph is already sketched for us, so then we're good. We're ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to stack up the rectangles and sketch the graph. So please remember that when we stack up the rectangles, we remember that this last one right here will be stacked up on top of the first. And so it repeats the same thing. So second to the last will be stacked up to the second. And these two shall be stacked up on top of each other. So I've sketched the graph on this piece of paper right here. It's exactly the same graph that we have on the original problem right there. So that we can go ahead and say that this last one right here will be stacked up on top of the first. So then it can look like this. So this is how the rectangle is going to look like. And so we're ready to move on to the third step. The third step is to determine the length and the width of the rectangle from step two and solve for the area. And we remember again that the area is the sum of the given series. So in this case right here, we can go ahead and cover this. And so we can um, focus on this uh, rectangle right here so that we can determine the um, area for this. Now looking at this um, rectangle right here, the length for this is three. Now please remember that it doesn't have to be three, it can be any uh, length. It so happened that the first example and this second example right here, the length is both three, but it doesn't have to be three. So that's three right here. And this um, width that we have here would start from here all the way to this part right here. Now, others are going to say, how do we determine the um, width for this? Now, looking at the original picture that we have here, the height of the first rectangle is 139 and the height of the last triangle is 34. If we add them together, this will come out 173. So the lessons there on top of each other. So this would come out as having a width of 173. And so we can go ahead and solve for the area. So we're going to write the formula for the area first. Okay, our length is three, so we plug it in. Three times our width is 173. And so if we multiply this together, our area is 519. And again, we remember that area is actually the sum of the arithmetic series. So the sum is 519. So this is the sum of the series that is represented by this graph that we have at the beginning. Now let's have the general formula for finding the sum of any arithmetic series. Suppose we are given these terms right here. So these are general terms and this is the graph of this general arithmetic series that we have here. Let's label the parts of this graph right here. So we will take this as our a sub one, which we will represent this as our first term. So I can go ahead and label this as a sub one. Again, these are variables. We are just using a sub one as a label for the first term. It can be any letter in the alphabet. And so the last term that we have here, let's just name this as our a sub n. 
So to find the sum of this general um, arithmetic series right here represented by this graph is that we are supposed to stack up the last term will be stacked up to the first and then this one will be stacked up to the next one right here and so we're able to create a rectangle now please notice that the label has changed now so this by the way goes all the way to n we re just represented this as n n means like it can be any number after one it can be five it can be six it can be 10 20 100 whatever that value of n is that is just the general variable that represents any number so pretty much whatever the value of n is it's actually taken as half so pretty much our length actually is n divided by 2 so that is half of the total number of terms that is represented as n over 2 and that's the um the length and then the width that we have here we remember that this one right here the height of this is actually a sub 1 that's the first term and then this is our a sub n that is the last term so to find for the width of this rectangle right here we can go ahead and say that the width for this is actually a1 plus a n so we add them up together just like how we did with the first example so whatever the measure of this that's a sub one and whatever the measure of the a sub n that was on top of it on top of it then we add them together that's actually the width so that if we are going to determine the area for this we are actually determining the sum of the arithmetic series represented by the graph so that we can go ahead and write the formula right here Okay, looking at this um, rectangle that we have here, our length is n over 2. So I can go ahead and plug that in there. n over 2 times our width is actually a1 plus a n. So that's a1 plus a n. And so this actually represents the area of this uh, rectangle. Now, again, we remember that area is actually represented as the sum of the arithmetic series so we can go ahead and say that actually the formula for the sum of an arithmetic series would be n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n so this is the formula right here so i'm just gonna put this inside the box and we remember that our n here represents the number of terms a sub 1 is the first term and a sub n is the last term. So I'm just gonna go ahead and label that down here. Again, this is the formula to determine the sum of any arithmetic series. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.